Grace Bowles, 125 North Plank Road, Newburgh, New York. I wish that the community leaders, parents, teachers, and administrators, and anyone who has an invested interest in the education of our children could have been at a meeting that the NAACP had last week with a few board members and a uh, uh, few community leaders. We witnessed, and I'm using the word witnessed because it touched your soul, we witnessed an education interaction between <coughs> Mr. Forge, our curriculum and instruction person, and I forgot her name, but I'm sure my, board, my NAACP members uh, know her name. <coughs> well, she, she blew us away. She literally blew us away with her expertise and let me stick to my paper because I'll forget what I'm saying. But she, um, the interaction between her and Mr. Forgett was on a level that has never existed in Newburgh before. I mean, she really took us to a level of education and explaining things and getting us to understand things that this is what I, this is the kind of person that we need in our community um, to move our children forward. We tend to stay in our own little cocoon, promoting within, and not realizing that our children are the ones who are being deprived. Yeah, right. I have two examples of this. Last week at the workshop, they mentioned computer rooms. Well, that is so 1980 and 1990. Computer rooms? No. Technology should be in every classroom. Every teacher should be required to incorporate technology into their lesson plans. Our children should be graduating and being able to acquire one of the thousands yes. of jobs that are going vacant, and I'm sure you, you hear the news, that are going vacant because our children are not prepared. How many of our children left out of here at the end of this year, nowhere to go? We could have prepared them at least in the field of communication, just to get an inroad into something. One, uh, one person said on TV, they said, I will hire anyone that comes through the door that sometimes basically knows how to turn on a computer, but some of them don't even know how to turn it on. I'm sure that's not our case. Okay? Another, uh, another example is there are teachers who come up from New York City and they say that we are beginning to do something that we in New York City have been doing for 10 years. I learned that when I went over to West Street and some of the teachers who did teach in New York City and were up here now, they said, oh, Mrs. Bowles, we did this 10 years ago. The system is so far behind. Well, the gentleman talked about an ISP. Do you know down the city, they're online? You can go online and, and a parent can see their ISP. Okay? So, I just have a question. I don't want you to answer. I just want you to think about it. What are your plans to incorporate in technology into all classrooms besides the DVD and the TV? Okay? Um, another thing that President Obama asked out of us is to push our kids in science and technology and math. We need to make sure that that is happening. And then I will ask you a question that I asked when I was on the board. What kind of science programs are we, do we have in the elementary school? When I left the board, some elementary schools were teaching no science. Because if an elementary teacher doesn't, if that's not their cup of tea, then they might not do it. Maybe social studies is their cup of tea, so they'll do that. And they should be doing it all. So I'm asking you, please go down there and find out what they're teaching. Now my second concern is to ask you, when will the NFA principal position be posted? I would like to see a nationwide search for a principal who will bring in programs that will deal with the 
lack graduation rate for the African Americans and even lower for the Hispanic students. One who has a proven record of taking a failing school and leading it toward success. You cannot allow NFA to linger with an acting principal because there is too much at stake. We need someone who, we need someone so that maybe next year the graduation rate will be a little better. Money should not be a factor when it comes, when so many of our children's lives are at stake. You can find money for anything you want to find in it. Please do this for the students of Newburgh. So my question is, when will the search begin? Or haven't you thought about it? Or are you satisfied with where we stand at the present moment? You, you, you can't be satisfied when you look at the state scores online. Please, go online and look at those scores and it will blow your mind. You know, until you actually see it, it doesn't have an effect on you. People can say, oh, the Newburgh scores are low, blah, blah. But you gotta see it before it hits you. And these are our children, so therefore, I think that we should move ahead on that. Then I have a, just a couple of comments on the, um, on the um, Kerry Buns. What really is happening is an unequal punishment. If you retire, you don't get any punishment. But if you remain, you get punished. Okay, so, um, my last comment is, are your committee meetings posted online? so that we may attend your committee meetings. Are they posted? Yes, monthly. They're posted, thank you. Um, and because we have all these parents and community members sitting here, and I know this will never happen, but I, I can just put it forth anyway. I think we should have two board meetings, one for non-educational matters and one for educational matters. Not a thing you said here tonight well, maybe some. Very little you said here tonight told us about the education of our children. So if there was some way that you could put some, something that's happened educationally into these board meetings, I think we would really appreciate it. Thank you. Because of Cardi Burns. 
If she wouldn't have pushed these kids, these kids right. wouldn't have been out. Our, graduate, our graduation rate is horrible. Horrible. And she's helping kids. She's pushing kids. She can. And I'm just asking for me and the rest of the students that she helped and those kids that are in a fit now that really, really need her, that you drop all these charges. Because this is ridiculous. If you really care about our kids in the education that you say you care about and you sit on this board and you're so concerned about Newburgh and Lodge City and yes. the district, you yes. drop every charge yes. you put her back in her position yes. before the school year starts. Thank you.